Hi, we're Glenn and Amber Schwarm. And welcome to The Big Flip and Break. We created The Big Flipping Break because we wanted to help one person take the journey from startup to finish cashing the check and help with that entire process. The Big Flipping Break is about way more than just teaching you how to make money on this one deal. We want to empower you with the knowledge that you need to move forward. We have chosen a couple from our home flipping workshop to mentor, and that is David and Alicia King. We're gonna provide the money to purchase the property and all the money for the renovation of that property for their first big flip. We're gonna to go to the closing table and get that, and then we're gonna split the profit together. What David and Alicia don't know is that we're secretly testing them to see if we want to partner with them long-term and give them their big flip and break. In the previous episode, Glenn, Amber, David, and Alicia visited two listings. The first house they went through was a 1,400 square foot, two bed, one bath bungalow listed at 140,000. The second was a 1,400 square foot, four bed, one bath cape being sold as is for 59.9. So we do have multiple offers already. Um, okay. Obviously it's priced so low. Right. Um, I do have a couple that are over asking already. Okay. What David and Alicia don't know is that there's a bigger test going on. Glenn and Amber are not only trying to make money with this couple on one flip, but are really testing them to see if they would make good partners they can fund on a long-term basis and give them their big flip and break. All right, so let's call her back. Okay. Um, we're all good at 75. Yeah. I know it's a little nerve wracking. <laughs> But I, but do you, but before we do this, do you see there's 50 grand there? Yeah. 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 That's what we're trying to do is split 50 grand. That's right. what, at the right. end of the day, that's what we're trying to do. Right. All right. So All right. call back and just, just say, so Meg, I think we're going to go ahead and place our offering at 75,000. Okay. Say, um, how do you like my chances of 75? Okay. And say, and then say, listen, I want you to ask her this. Can you, can you, if we get the paperwork over you tonight, can you take it off the market? Okay. If she says, yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll get it done. Or I like your chances. Say, can, we, can you take it off the market then? The team wants to make a competitive offer on the four bed, one bath cape being sold as is for 59.9. Just say, I think we worked our numbers and we're gonna hit, we got, we got Hey, you. Alicia. Hey, Meg. Um, okay, I think we worked our numbers okay. and we're gonna be able to do 75. Um, what, what are my chances on that? So I think you've got a great shot with that. I got to just uh, submit it to my team. They'll go over everything and then they should let me know tonight. Can you guys get that written up so I can submit it to them like ASAP so you don't lose out? Yes, definitely. Okay, okay so I if, can email you that packet so you can have it in just a few minutes. Okay, we'll sign it right away and then Perfect. you'll make sure you'll take it off the market, right? Absolutely. Okay, yep. awesome. All right, we're excited. All Thanks, right. Megan. No problem. All right. I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Bye. Cool. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we Thanks. go. <laughs> All right. Away we All go. All right. All right. All right. First house. All right. Today's an exciting day. So we have uh, Dave and Alicia King coming in today, and our attorney's going to come down here too, and they're going to be buying the house, and we are going to be putting the uh, money up for the house. So all that paperwork today, that's the initial part. They're gonna be scared like uh, like new home buyers and new flippers always are. Remember those days, right? I know, I was just trying to like put myself in their shoes thinking about how they're gonna feel today. Yeah. I bet they are on pins and needles. And this is the first step of many in this whole process, so away we go. I guess on the path. Okay. David and Alicia's offer of 75,000 was accepted by the owner on one condition. They must save and give her the beam in the kitchen with all her kids' and grandkids' measurements on it. Now they can get to work and Glenn and Amber can find out what kind of house flippers David and Alicia really are. And if you can just sign where it says grantee. No pressure. And then here, you're both gonna squeeze in where it says buyer. Okay. This is the joint venture agreement, the next thing you're gonna sign. Okay. So basically, you're buying the house. Yep. It's in your name of your company. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be the mortgager. Essentially, we're gonna split all the profits. Okay. That's at the end. That's of the exactly what it says. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So exciting! <laughs> 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 Over there. Over to see you. Oh, 
Yes. Yes. Let's go. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, everybody. We hope you're enjoying this show so far. You know, if you followed Amber and I for any length of time, you know that our mission is to help everyday people create wealth through real estate investing because that's who we are and that's what we did. So to that end, we want to get to know you and we would like you to get to know us. So we want to make sure we connect with you on social media and give you as much information as we possibly can. And Amber's going to tell you how to do that. Yeah, the best way to do that is to go to glennandamber.com. And on that website, you're going to find links to our upcoming home flipping workshop. You're going to find links to our podcast, The Real Estate of Mine. And there's also links to all of our social media platforms. So whatever platform you use, Please like us, follow us, connect with us, and make sure you comment on any post with questions and, and comments. We personally respond to all of those. Yeah, we love to do that and interact with you guys. So listen, you can also get a copy of our book, The Birth of the Everyday Real Estate Investor on there. There'll be a link to take you over to Amazon and grab that book too. Remember, we our mission is helping everyday people create wealth through real estate investing, just like we did with David and Alicia. So with that, let's get you back to the show. David and Alicia are officially flipping their first house. They all immediately head over to talk through ideas and start their scope of work. All right. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> it smells like wet dog. It's that's a not, little emptier that's not, than I thought. That's cool. We picked this house because it has so much potential. Yeah. We are going to be able to take what is a four bedroom, one bath, and make it a four bedroom, two bath. Have a nice new kitchen area, a laundry area. It has a nice backyard. It has a nice backyard. I can't imagine that's Can doing anything. Like that whole thing just needs to be Right, okay. it could just okay. skip. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think well, let's, so. Let's walk I mean, a contractor will have to verify that that's not supporting that load. I, I wouldn't think so. This house needs everything. It needs new siding, new roof. Um, it needs a new kitchen. A uh, new bathroom, we need to put in another bathroom upstairs. In here we have the challenge of a small kitchen. Right. And we have a lot of doorways and windows in the way too, which adds to the challenge of making it a really functional kitchen. Cabinets, countertop, full remodel of the kitchen. It'll be beautiful. I try to keep things where they were originally, especially like the plumbing. And in a house like this, we, we don't have a basement to work with. So it's gonna be best if we can keep the sink where it's currently at so that we don't incur that extra expense. I mean, this is a smaller house, 14, 1400. 1400 square feet. One thing I don't like is losing natural light. And this, this feels dark in here. Like, I mean, even these walls are dingy and this wood is so dark, you know, and, and then opening this up, it is gonna feel a lot brighter. So in a perfect world, you could actually move this window over to here. Okay. Since you are already doing siding on the outside, but there is more framing involved in that. Right. So it's gonna be, it, it is gonna affect your budget. But if you did that, you could use almost this whole wall for base cabinets and upper cabinets. I like the idea of it. Honestly, I, I like I would like spending that money and and okay okay okay. Do we, do we all hear that? Go ahead. Do we hear that? She said you like to like, spend the money. Yeah. I would like so, spending that so money. So wait 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 yeah. wait wait. Uh, I I yeah. have a good idea too. This is a newer window, right. so now you don't have to buy a new window. You can right. use you the same it, window right? and move it. So you're saying you are you are spending money to to do the framing, but you're not spending money on buying on the material same, of buying a new window. Same cost, probably more expensive <laughs> to move the window. That that was not a win for her. You oh, save the window. So you so gotta it move it to her. Just, it's going to just move it over a little bit. What? What's the problem? Just move it over. What I will often do is I'll bring a sharpie in and I will actually draw out the kitchen design that I want on the wall or on a cabinet or on the countertop, and then I'll take a picture of it. Gonna be able to resell those cabinets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hope we didn't want to sell those. So we're gonna put our fridge here. Yeah. And a little filler. 36 inch fridge. And then we're gonna put base cabinets here. Would you put a cabinet above the fridge? Yes. Okay. We're gonna do So our sink is here. So, you know, you could put a question mark like, you know, range and micro. Just kind of give them an idea. And then, yeah, dishwasher. 
and then cabinets. So we could flip flop these ideas. We could put the refrigerator over here and the range over there. And if you did that, you would actually have countertop on both sides of the range because you'd have enough room to put, we had 40 inches there, the range takes right. 30. So we could put at least a nine inch um, cabinet, cabinet on the side. Could we vent it out? Yeah. If put a vent there, yeah. vent it outside, so. Yeah, you'd be fine there. You'd also be able to get water to your refrigerator. Yeah. Because uh, water is very difficult on this side. Right, and we have the water right there. Right. I do like it because you could get a countertop on both sides of yeah, that. Yeah, counters are important. Um, yeah. We've been in the kitchen for seven hours. What I'd like to do is move on from the kitchen if we could. Let's yeah. see what they left in the living room. Ladies first, in case anything's scary, yeah. I want to make sure. <laughs> Thanks a lot. We almost always have to replace the front door, but this one's not in bad shape. Yeah, that's So the I... ceiling's textured, but it's not like dramatic. To you and I, we've done hundreds of these types yeah. of deals. So it's this thing, it is. Yeah. I'm thinking to myself, we talk like it's nothing and they're, they're going. But they can oh, lean wow. on our experience and lean on our confidence and that's the benefit. I'm curious to see the furnace because now, that, now that I understand what the heat source is, it's, hot, it's baseboard hot water. Right. I want to see what the furnace looks like because that'll be important if it's oil or gas. We did find that golden nugget, right? With What's the, the golden nugget? With the um, boiler. Oh, the boiler's brand yep, new. it's new. Oh, actually, this is a really nice one. This is the on-demand system. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, now, with the hot water. we may want to deal with this. I don't know. That, that, that could be asbestos. I don't think it is but it has a weird look to it, so it, it's possible. I think that they don't realize how big this is gonna be. Yeah. This is not a simple cosmetic renovation. There's a lot going on here. Yeah. It's yeah. all gotta go. It's yeah. all gotta go. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, nothing uh, good about that. No, nothing. Couple right. tables. Yeah, it's not. This is gonna be like bathroom. Did we say we could fit a whole bathroom in here or is it gonna be half bath? But yeah, I think you could fit a bathroom up here for sure. So, yeah. you know, your shower your shower goes here probably of like a 48 inch one. Maybe, maybe you can fit a 60 inch one that might be pushing it. Upstairs, our idea is to create a master bathroom. It seemed like it was gonna be a difficult task. So we're gonna have to put the shower over here. Okay. Because you need the height. Right. And okay. the ceiling slopes over there. Yeah. So that's gonna be sealed off. So shower will go here. Toilet can go in a smaller area. Okay. Um, that's not gonna be the end of the world. And then, you know, your vanity could probably go here by the shower. We're actually going to have the two bedrooms and then like a Jack and Jill um, bathroom. Create a door over there. Yeah, right. yeah like right about the, yeah, in the, in the hallway. So that this bathroom is accessible from both of these bedrooms right. up here. Yeah. All right, and, and then, then the, the, the door, door, right the door will be right here. Okay. Yep. We wanted to swing into that wall inside. So you don't use this hand to open the door that way. You use right. your left hand to open it that way. So it's a left hand swing. Left hand swing door. Oh, just kidding. Okay, get this. <laughs> As I'm walking through the house, these are what your buyers are gonna do. So they may or may not come in with a tape measure. They may or may not know the exact size of a bed like I do, but um, they are gonna nest. Right and they're gonna come in and go, where am I gonna put my bed? But what I wanna do is go through with a tape measure and make sure that whatever my design incorporates, it's gonna make, it's, it's gonna allow them to have options. All right, so a queen bed is 60 inches wide by 80 inches long. So, hold that right there if you would. So 80 inches takes us to right there. Okay. You know, you've got, you've got, yeah, two feet-ish. The good news is that we do technically have three spots that somebody could put a queen size bed. You could even put a king size bed right here oh, okay. um, and have enough room for nightstands on either side. You know, anytime you take on a new project like this, there's that balancing act. And, and when it's new, it's even more challenging yeah. is to define their roles and say, hey, you know, David, you're responsible for ABC and Alicia, you're responsible for XYZ. It took us a long time to get there. We can give them advice on it, but it's tough to yeah, but, really implement. But if they know that going in, that's yeah. going to be helpful Maybe. information. So this is what I call my pre-scope of work and it helps me develop my scope of work. And like, I like to be really efficient when I'm doing flips. When you have one going on, it's not that big of a deal unless it's long distance. But when you have multiple flips going on, you don't want to be running back and forth to the house, right. you know, yeah. 10 million times. 
It's one thing if you're watching a YouTube video, it's another thing to actually go through a real life house and say, okay, this is where we're gonna need to go. This is how we're gonna need to handle it. Uh, this is what we're going to need to, to do. We're deep in the weeds and mechanics. I wanna know how you're feeling mentally with this. Cause the mental side of this game is the hard part. Right. Overwhelmed yet? A little, I mean. Right, that's why I'm so checking, that's why I'm checking. You can go back to what you know Glenn was saying as we were walking through is making sure that we have that even keel throughout. We don't go crazy when bad things happen. We've done a couple kitchen remodels, so like yeah. this. But that's in our own house. Right. Not... This is in our own house. So to think of it from a business, business perspective is a lot different. It looks like they have some knowledge. They've done they've done some renovation on their own house. So they have some basic knowledge. They think that they're going to dive in and they're going to quickly realize there's a lot going on here. Yeah. When I start designing a house, like there can be anything that's my inspiration. It might be something that's already in the house. It might be the beveled glass on the front door. It might be um, a, a backsplash tile that I just saw when I was shopping for another house that I was just dying to use somewhere. Okay. Like that one piece of tile might be my inspiration for the, how the whole house turns out. Okay. So that's what I mean. If you, if you chose to keep something like this, the rest right. of the house needs to be wow, cohesive yeah. with it. Okay. Ladies, we're uh, we're forgetting something rather important. Plumbing. Well, there's there's already there's plumbing right there. Oh, she had the dryer here. She had the washer in the kitchen. So not having a drain is a whole different ball game now. So it'd be better on this wall because the sink is on this wall. Yeah. So you probably could tie in the plumbing and the drain there. That's probably a possibility. So I think on that wall is where you have to go. So look, you already have a closet built right here. Right. We might need a little more depth. Actually, we definitely need more depth. Right. When you stick a washer and dryer in, it's not just the dimensions of the actual washer and dryer. There's the big tube in the back. I'm having some real concerns about their ability to do this flip. As we're walking through, I'm seeing some major deer in the headlights look while Amber's talking and while I'm talking. I feel like they have no idea what's going on and they are way in over their heads. I just don't know if they can do this flip. Oh, whoa. All right, guys. Oh. What's that's wrong? Pungent. <coughs> oh. Okay. That's a that's cat piss. Oh, so damn. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. Yeah. Let's do it. Paint this, just spray it all white. Okay. Because it's in good shape and white will just make it look clean and fresh and new. Alright, let's go, let's go deal with the backyard. When you take the one step, it just kinda keeps going. You just have to it's, it's snowballs. It's snowballs, yeah, it's snowballs. So in this episode is where it gets real. I mean, this is where the rubber hits the road. You found the house, you closed on the house, you own it. And now every day counts and, and goes into those holding costs. So this is where time is of the essence. You wanna get right in there. You wanna get your scope of work completed so that you can go from day one. We find that so many people that get started don't exactly know what is the scope of work and how do I put it together? And what we're doing is preparing Dave and Alicia so they can talk to their contractors and sound very educated because they have a scope of work put together. Yep. So if you want to learn all about that and a whole bunch of other stuff, you need to join Glenn and I and our whole team at the Home Flipping Workshop. So go get your tickets now at homeflippingworkshop.com. Cool. Three days virtual and uh, we'll teach you everything that we've taught David and Alicia and we'll do it in person. Keep watching because I actually get attacked by a squirrel in this episode coming up next. So get back there. Enjoy the show. Oh, oh. wow. I don't know. Guys. No, 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 the floor no, no. is caved in. Honey, be careful walking in there. Oh, jeez, Christ! Oh, it's a squirrel. It's a squirrel. I just wasn't quite prepared for that. So I don't know. If, I don't know. If, what the hell is that? Yeah, see, not so funny is it now? It happens to you. Not so funny. He came flying across. <laughs> he was going across my head, did he? Oh my goodness! Well, oh, welcome to flipping. Well, that that was fun. All right, yeah, it's coming down. Out of here. <laughs> New driveway. I think it's pretty Sorry, bad, but it's bad. bad. Yeah, it is. Oh. This is pretty rough. It's going to be about three grand, yeah. probably. On houses like this, if the roof is already done, I would say no. But since you're doing the roof anyway, it would not be that big of a deal at all to to carry that out and then just put two posts. Because the problem with these houses is they're very flat all the way across. Yep. You know, they don't add any dimension at all. So by just adding, and since the roof is going on anyway putting two posts here, it would it would help the curb appeal of the house, for sure. 
our experience tells me that this job should take probably between six and eight weeks. Um, we're gonna push for six weeks, no pressure. It's gonna be a tight timeline. I don't know, what six, are you feeling? Six weeks? Six weeks is a tight turnaround. Yeah. But uh, we're moving to Florida and uh, we need to get this house done before, and I'm moving there first, so oh, we need to get this house okay. done before I move. Definitely being able to walk through the house with them today right. and even like just getting to hear Amber's design for the kitchen and all that kind of stuff, um, like that was really good. So I think that that eased some fears, but you know, it's all new territory for us, so. Yeah. What's their next step now? They have all the information, now so what? So next step is developing your scope of work. So get all of this on paper. Your scope of work is like your project Bible. You know, you're gonna give that to your contractor, it's gonna save you time, it's gonna save him time, it's gonna have all of your SKUs, all of your paint colors. SKUs are all of the items that you want in the house. The SKU is like what they use to pick it out at Home Depot, for example. I'll review it, send it to me when you're done, so let me look it over, make sure it looks good. And, and having that scope of work is going to put you a step ahead of the game of other people because you're going in looking prepared out of the gates. So okay. the quicker we get on this job, you know, you drag it out. Oh, it'll take me two days to do a scope of work. No, it takes a few hours to do a scope of work. It takes, you know, probably two to four hours. Let's say four on the long end because it's brand new to you. So it's going to take, you know, a, a chunk of time to get it done. But get it done and let's start rocking and rolling on this house so that we can, because every day that we hold on to this house, it costs us money. All right. All right. All right, cool. This is not brand new for them. They've, they've done this before. Yeah, to be able to have them to guide us is, right. is priceless, actually. It's yeah. really cool. So we got this, right? We got this. You ready, babe? I'm ready. Done. Done. All right, all right. All right, umbrella. All right. All right. So what do you think? You think you're ready? I think, think we're ready. I think we're ready. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll? We're ready excited. to rock and roll? All right, all right. Uh, we'll get this. Get this knocked out. Yeah. We're, we're partners. So, All right. And, and here's the it. challenge of you know work-life balance is you guys got to go home to three kids and you have a scope of work and to we develop. Have a scope of work to do. So, so. Um, I want that on my in my inbox by noon All on right. Friday. Sounds good. All right. All right. All right. We're yeah. partners. Right, we're gonna push Take you. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. All Thank right. You so much, guys. All right, guys. Bye, guys. See y'all. Bye. Join us on the next episode as David and Alicia okay. attempt to hire a general contractor. Okay. Yep. So this is the roller coaster of flipping. Yes. And Glenn and Amber expect things to be moving along faster. And David and Alicia take matters into their own hands with the demolition. We got lots going on over here yeah. today. All on the big flip and break. Our mission is to help everyday people create wealth through real estate investing because that's who we are and that's what we did. So if you like our style, you like the way that we teach, you like that we're very real and tell you exactly how it is, then go grab our book on amazon.com right now. Listen, we wrote the book, The Birth of the Everyday Real Estate Investor, How Real Estate Not Stops Create Wealth because that's our life. We've built all of our wealth through real estate investing. We know how to do it in any economy, in any market cycle, in any inflationary cycle. If you buy the houses right and you know the exit strategy, you can do it. The book chronicles where we started, tells lots of stories and gives lots of real hardcore advice and tells you exactly what to do to be a successful real estate investor just like Amber and I did. So please go to Amazon right now and grab the birth of the everyday real estate investor because the world has changed and real estate is where it's at. No matter what the economy is doing, real estate is always where it's at. So go grab the book. If you love it, if you found it helpful and you learned a lot, give us a good review and we'd love to meet you in the future.